Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Welcome to my Zern online school. My name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is body parts and decision making. And before we get into any lessons boys and girls, we know that we need to sanitize. Remember, if you don't have sanitizer, that's okay. You can use soap and water. Just make sure that you wash your hands and rinse them for 30 seconds. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be talking about doubling, halving, area and preposition. Let's start our lesson today by going to page 23. On page 23, we will be doubling and halving. We're going to start with doubling and we're going to do double 16 and then we will do double 24. So let us take a look at the board. Now remember boys and girls, doubling just basically means the number you've been given, you must add. And that's it, <laughs> it's so simple. So if we have 16, we are going to say 16 plus 16. Now we can do this very simply by writing 16 plus 16. And we will get our answer. So first we need to know what 6 plus 6 equals. We're going to have our 6 here plus Six. Now you can use your fingers, you can use counters, you can use the number line, but you know that 6 plus 6 equals 12. But boys and girls, 12 is a double digit number. It will not be able to fit here. So what has to happen is that Mrs. Units has to go to Mr. Tens and say, Mr. Tens, our bag is too heavy. We have got a one and a two. Please, can you take the one and add it? And Mr. Tens will say, okay, Mrs. Units, I will take one. So we have plus one for Mr. Tens there. And then we have our two. Now we say one plus one. Now we know one plus one equals two, but we must not forget the added one from Mrs. Units. So two plus one will give us three. So our total will be 32. Now we know that if we double the number 16, the way we did when we said 16 plus 16, our answer will be 32. Now that we are done with that one, let's try another one. This time we're doing 24. So we are going to double 24. So we're going to say 24 plus 24. 
and we want to know what our answer is. So, we're going to start by saying 4 plus 4. 4 plus 4, my dear children, is 8. And then we will say 2 plus 2. And 2 plus 2 will give us 4. Now our sum is complete. We know that if we double the number 24 by saying 24 plus 24, we will come up with the answer 48. So remember, doubling is just taking the number you have been given and adding it to itself. And then you will get your answer. Now that we're done with doubling, let's go over to halving. Now halving is the exact opposite of doubling, but how do we actually do halving? Well, we want to show you by using half of 12 and then half of 30. So I have half of 12 here, and instead of just cutting the number half into uh, 12 into half, <laughs> we are going to share equally in two boxes because remember, you can share and find your answer. So the first thing we're going to do is to count to 12 by giving each of them one, one. So we say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have come to our number twelve. So the important thing here is to now write or count how many are in each box. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six in this box. Let's count for the other box. One, two, three, four, five, six. They are also six. Now, boys and girls, these two answers need to match for us to say we have properly cut 12 into half. So now we know that half of 12 will give us six. If your answers don't match, you'll have to start again because that means somewhere there was a mistake. Now let's try 30. Remember, we're going to break or cut 30 into half by putting two boxes and then counting up to 30 until we are done sharing equally. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So now we have reached 30 and our job is to make sure that we count in each box how many we actually have. So let's start with the top one. It says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there are 15 in this box. Now let's count what is in the other box. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It also has 15, which means that half of 30, when you cut it in half, will give us 15. So take your time, boys and girls. Try hard not to mix up how we double when we just take the number we have and add it to itself to what we do when we are halving, where we take the number, take two boxes and share equally. Take your time with both exercises. You might need another paper for you to do your working out. And when you're done, make sure that you have counted correctly by going through your question and your answer again. 
Have fun and I'll see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on MyZone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We are now going to do a little bit more maths on page 24. On page 24, we are continuing, but this time we are going to be doing area by counting the squares. It is our job to count the area of each shape. Now, as you can see, there is a large area and then a smaller area with color. So it is going to be your job to count only the squares in color and then write the answer in the little box below. Let's do an example on the board. Now I know that we have these squares, the ones that we can see that don't have color, but it is the ones that have color that we need to focus on. So let us count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I know that my answer is seven. And that's it. Very, very simple, my dear children. So simple, in fact, that you are going to do the rest by yourselves. Just count the ones that have color. And when you're done, move on to the next one. And when you're done with everything, double check that you are correct. I'll see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 74 3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. Now, boys and girls, we are going to end our lesson by going to page 25. On page 25, we are going to do prepositions, but not just any prepositions, boys and girls. We're going to be doing time in the prepositions. We're going to be focusing on number two, three, and four, and that's, those are the ones that we're going to do together. Now, the prepositions of time that we're going to be using today are on the board, so let's take a look. We have at, on, and in. It is going to be our job to choose among the three of them. So we are going to start with number two. Number two says, it is always called dash delay in Namibia. And that one is very true. But we now need to know which preposition or preposition of time. Is it at? Is it on? Or is it in? If you said in, well done. So we're going to write the word in and reread the sentence. Let's start. It is always cold in July in Namibia. Good job, everyone. So the correct preposition is the word in. Now, let us move to number three. Number three says, let's read it together. It can be dangerous to walk alone dash night. Now, we need to find a preposition that is correct for this sentence. If we say on night, it doesn't make sense. And if we say in night, that also doesn't make sense. So our answer today, boys and girls, is at night. So we're going to write our word at. And then after that, we're going to say our sentence again. Let's read. It can be dangerous to walk alone at night. Now our sentence is correct and it is beautifully laid out with our preposition. The last one that we have is number four. Number four says, let's read together. My family always eats cake dash Christmas day. Now, which preposition is going to be the correct one? We can't say at 
Christmas Day. That doesn't make any sense. We can't say in Christmas Day. That also doesn't make sense. So, we are going to say on Christmas Day. So we're going to write our word on. And then after writing our word on, we're going to read our sentence again. Let's begin. My family always eats cake on Christmas Day. And now our sentence makes sense and is complete. So I'd like you to first read all the sentences. Make sure that you try and use all the three prepositions of time that we have and check which one makes more sense. If you're not sure or you don't know what to do, you can always ask an adult for help. Take your time, boys and girls, and I'll see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson and I hope you had fun. Remember, if you're not sure what to do or something is very hard, it's okay to ask for help. Just make sure you finish your work by yourself and remember to practice, practice, practice. Now that we are done with our lesson, we need to sanitize. Sanitizing doesn't mean that you are going to be 100% safe. So you also need to practice good social distancing and as well as using soap and water. Don't forget to wear a mask when you are out in public. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Sasha and I were going to go and visit a friend of ours because he was going to show us how to brush our teeth nicely. Sashi, are you ready? Wonderful, Sashi. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Mirkat Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.